Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Friday, February 25th, 2022. Made it to the end of the week. Happy freaking Friday. It's a Friday, why don't we? So, yeah, hopefully your week went well. Hope you crushed it. Hopefully you killed it. And let's hop into a little morning message. And we're going to talk about stress today. So let's get into it. So something that's been more apparent to me after working my way through this 75 hard challenge program, if you will, is, is this idea. And one thing that actually has become something that I have noticed has gone way down is or as, as far down as relatively speaking, you know, in my past compared to where I'm at right now is, is my stress levels. And my ability to say, to kind of pers- have thing, have perspective and realize that certain things just don't really matter. And I think that's kind of what stress comes to is, is this idea of being out of control with certain areas of your life. And I think that's what some, that's, that's one thing that doing this, this 75 hard program, I think today's day 47 out of 75 has brought me over the past kind of month, month and a half. And so what I wanted to kind of elaborate on and continue the discussion a little bit more off of the point off the point that I made a little bit ago was the fact that how stress comes from this anxiety which is created from being out of feeling like you're out of control with certain areas of your life and so specifically I think when you can control the things that you can control that are in your control in your life such as how much water you drink what information you read what foods you eat your physical activity who you interact with and specifically that point surrounding yourself with the right people who are there to support you in learning specifically learning to temporarily or permanently say no to those that that do not support you and not having anxiety about that i think that's that's a key point as well so when you can really get disciplined and control the things that are in your control they're in your complete control drinking water reading controlling what information you read people you surround yourself with your physical activity, your diet, when you can control these things that are completely objectively <laughs> within your control, your stress goes way down because you are in control of almost every single possible area that you can possibly control in your life. And what's the word? Uh, by the transitive property, <laughs> no, uh, thus, I don't know what the word would be, but You are in control of your stress, essentially. So there's always going to be this percentage or part of your life that is out of your control, right? People that you work with or (laughs) you interact with on a day-to-day basis, maybe strangers that maybe come to you with with problems or try (laughs) to just bring up issues that need to be solved. Um, that are kind of out of your control, you can't obviously control that. That you may have to, that may cause you maybe some stress, like in addition. And I think the the key to kind of dealing with that is just objectively understanding that that's always going to be there, right? Like there's always going to be a percentage that's not in your control. Like you can't control all that. Um, can't control how your days go sometimes. So just really understanding that it's not this this end of the world where. Um, it's not a big deal, right? Kind of putting things in perspective and prioritizing what needs to get done when it needs to get done. And now that I'm thinking about it, I really think that a lot of the pieces that you can control, maybe sometimes understanding like that's always going to be there. Let's deal with it. (laughs) It's not the end of the world. Um, but I think a lot of stress comes from not having your priorities straight and this idea of like how long things will take and understanding what is important and being able to prioritize certain things. And I think that's where sometimes the stress comes from, right? It's, it's not taking that minute to really take a step out of a lot of things going on throughout your days and really understanding, you know, maybe let's reprioritize like as things come up, right? That's something that I've kind of started to do as well is maybe you kind of aren't expecting your days to go a certain way. And someone calls you, messages you, pings you in work or something of that nature and says, can you help out with this? Um, like you're not expecting it, but I really think just taking the time to take a step out of it, reprioritize, understand what is really important and let's get it done. 
and also knowing that like no matter how hard you try there's always going to be this percentage or piece of your day that that's always going to be <laughs> out of the blue like you're not going to be expecting certain things to happen in your day and it's kind of fun when you think of it like that it's like oh what's going to happen today i'm not going to expect it's going <laughs> to come my way that i'm going to have to deal with um but yeah understanding that no nothing is really that big of a deal as long as your life is not hanging in the balance right you just you just deal with it you say all right let's do this let's reprioritize let's take a step back from everything look at things as a whole understand okay this is what i need to do and take things one step at a time and let's let's get after it yeah and so yeah that is my little two cents for today's morning message on stress and saying that when you can garner that's the right word <laughs> an ability to control the things that you can that are incomplete that are in your complete control such as how much water you drink food you eat your physical activity people you hang around people you spend the most time around surround yourself with and information you read you feed your brain and also being able to tell people temporarily or permanently know that do not support you in in your endeavors and what you are kind of working towards without without feeling bad about that i think when you when you are in control of all of these these pieces over here the pieces over here that are unexpected or unbeknownst to you that occur throughout your day which is always going to be there aren't really that big of a deal or it don't seem like it at least it actually makes it kind of fun when <laughs> there's this unexpected piece to your day like oh let's see how today goes and let's see what fires are going to put out so that's all i got for today's morning message happy freaking friday let's kill your day have a good weekend and i will see you tomorrow love you guys peace